students how are you welcome to edu hunt in the previous class we have discussed the concepts and worksheets now also we discuss few concepts and then we solve worksheet okay so let's start with one very important concept that is estimation strategies estimation strategies what do you mean by estimation for example if we go to if we go to any uh, market let it be market to buy vegetables so in this in that market i buy vegetables okay so now here see i bought onions potato and brinjal and tomato i bought four types of vegetables here onions cost <coughs> 20 rupees per kg potato cost 15 rupees per kg and brinjal cost 20 rupees per kg and tomato cost 30 rupees per kg in that market i bought onion 2 kgs potato 2 kgs brinjal 2 kgs and tomato 2 kgs each one 2 kgs i bought see here so how much amount do i have to pay for onions 20 into 2 that is 40 rupees i have to pay okay next 15 into 2 30 rupees i have to pay and 20 into 2 40 rupees i have to pay and 30 into 2 60 rupees i have to pay so what is the total cost here 60 plus 40 100 100 plus 70 170 nizanga nenu ee 170 rupees anedi exact ga market ki nenu theesukovelthana no not at all how much do i take maybe 200 or 300 or 150 i'll take in this manner only round figure okay 170 is not a round figure 200 300 150 are round figures this amount i will take to the market to buy vegetables exactly big why because because i don't know the exact value of i don't know the exact value of each kg of these vegetables are you getting my point yes i don't know because till i enter the market and if i ask the cost of each one of these to the vendor till then i don't know the exact cost of these vegetables that is why i take to the market round figure of amount what is that amount maybe 200 maybe 300 maybe 150 maybe 500 if i want to buy more vegetables here so that's why estimate <clears throat> what is the estimated amount here maybe 200 if i want to buy these four vegetables i will take 200 rupees to the market this is estimated amount but in fact how much did i spend 170 rupees i spent okay so remaining 30 rupees i will take to the home clear right now this is estimation so this is very very important concept estimation okay let's <coughs> go deep into the concept estimation rounding off to the nearest tens rounding off to nearest tens first learn the concept then we solve the questions very easily without any doubt rounding off to nearest tens first see here 89 74 and 35 three numbers are there how do we calculate round figure of these numbers nearest tens first point two points we have to remember here first one is if tens digit tens place nearest tens that means we have to consider unit digit which digit we have to consider 
unit digit unit digit okay tens nearest tens means what we have to observe we have to observe unit digit what is the unit digit here 9 7 and 5 okay now see unit digit here two points we have to remember what are those two points if unit digit is less than 5 unit digit is less than 5 that means we have to keep the tens digit as it is and remaining digits after tens digit should be zeros that means see unit digit is less than 5 that means tens digit should be written as it is that means 8 the remaining digits after tens digit that is only one digit that is unit digit keep that digit as zero okay keep the digit as zero if it is 84 if this number is 84 then how can we write this one this can be written this can be written as 80 this can be written as 80 first point is if the unit digit is less than 5 we have to keep the digit as it is and remaining digit that means after tens digit that is unit digit unit digit should be zero only okay right so here in this in this example 89 74 and 35 which is which is having unit digit less than 5 the middle number that is 74 this 74 can be written 74 can be written 74 what is first what we have to consider unit digit unit digit we have to consider unit digit is nothing but 4 4 is less than 5 or greater than 5 less than 5 that means keep the tens digit as it is and remaining digit is unit digit this unit digit must be zero only so 74 rounding off to nearest tens is 70 did you understand right first point completed next second point students second point is if the digit is greater than or equal to 5 greater than or equal to 5 here what we have to do if the unit digit is which digit we do we have to consider unit digit if the unit digit is greater than or equal to 5 then what we have to do first we have to add 1 to the tens digit why we are rounding off to tens that's why tens digit and remaining digits that means unit digit should be 0 clear students right see now if I take 97 97 unit digit is what 7 7 is greater than 5 so add let it be 87 87 here 7 is greater than 5 and add 1 to the tens digit that is 8 8 plus 1 9 9 remaining digits should be 0 that means 87 rounding off to tens is 90 did you understand students okay now solve these questions 89 74 and 35 89 89 so what is the unit digit here why unit digit we are taking we are rounding off to nearest tens so that's why 9 is the unit digit unit digit is greater than 5 or less than 5 greater than 5 greater than 5 means add 1 to 8 that is 9 remaining this digit should be 0 that is 90 is the answer clear students now take 74 74 74 what is the unit digit here unit digit is less than 5 less than 5 means keep the digit as it is that is 7 remaining digits 0 that is 70 answer for this one next take 35 35 is nothing but unit digit is 5 so 
take the second condition greater than or equal to 5 now add 1 to this number that is 4 remaining digits 0 that is 40 is it clear students chalo rounding off to the nearest 100 in the previous one what we have seen nearest tens now hundreds so hundreds means which digit do we have to consider here we have to consider tens digit which digit do we have to consider tens digit tens digit means here 5 is a tens digit 7 is a tens digit 3 is a tens digit okay these are tens digit these digits we have to consider same formula we apply here if the tens digit is first condition what is the first condition if it is less than 5 less than 5 what we have to do what did we do in the previous one less than 5 means keep the digit as it is 100 digit keep the digit keep the 100 digit as it is and remaining digits should be zeros for example if i take this is less than 5 less than 5 less than 5 means sorry sorry this one is less than 5 i am considering tens digit less than 5 this is less than 5 tens digit is less than 5 239 i am writing here 239 3 is nothing but less than 5 less than 5 so here keep the 100 digit as it is 2 remaining digits should be zeros 0 0 200 is the answer for this question did you understand students chalo next one if second condition what is second condition greater than or equal to five greater than or equal to five if the tens digit is which digit do we have to consider tens digit tens digit is greater than five or equal to five then what we have to do just we we should add one to the hundred digit and remaining digit should be zeros okay see here let us take this number it is 650 what is tens digit here tens digit is nothing but 5 it is equal to 5 just add 1 to this number 6 plus 1 7 then remaining zeros 0 and 0 this is 700 is the answer for this question next let's take this one 274 if i take 274 274 is nothing but 274 in 274 7 is the tens digit tens digit is greater than 5 that means just add 1 to the 100 digit that is 3 2 plus 1 3 and remaining digits should be 0 so this is the answer for this question did you understand students Chalo. same concept we apply everywhere okay Chalo. next rounding off to the nearest thousand nearest thousand means here here thousand means which digit do we have to consider thousand means we have to consider hundred digit okay hundreds digit hundreds digit so hundreds digit means here see two points we have to remember as we discussed previously first point is if less than five if the hundreds digit is less than 5 then what we have to do here three numbers are there one two three three numbers are there okay hundred digit must be less than 5 what is hundred digit less than 5 less than 5 means okay less than less than 5 means thousand digits should be kept as it is and remaining all digits should be zero that means let us take this one seven two four nine less than 5 less than 100 is it 2 2 is less than 5 less than 5 means keep this digit as it is remaining 3 3 digits should be 0 0 0 0 7000 is the answer for this question next if the number is greater than or equal to 5 second point greater than or equal to 5 greater than or equal to 5 if the number is the hundreds digit is greater than or equal to 5 just add 1 to the thousands digit and remaining all digits should be zeros here see take this one 
9723 in this one 100 digit is 7 greater than 5 that means add 1 to this number that is 10 remaining 3 zeros should be zeros 3 digits should be zeros that means 10,000 is rounding off to nearest 1000 next take this one 2564 100 digit is 5 100 digit is nothing but 5 here add 1 to this number that is 3 remaining all digits zeros this is the answer for this question did you understand students very easy concept in rounding off to tens hundreds thousands also all in all this all this what we have to do less than 5 and greater than 5 or equal to 5 we have to consider which digit do we have to consider in tens digit unit digit we have to consider in hundreds digit tens digit we have to consider in thousands digit hundreds digit we have to consider that's it this is very important concept if you remember these points then you can do the sums very very easily okay students okay